。嗨，各位同学好，欢迎来到 p h o n i p h o n i x 自然音标。p h o n i p h o n i x 自然音标的课程。今天老师为你介绍的是 vocabulary of the day。vocabulary of the day。同样的，让我们到 wikipedia.org 围棋线上百科全书去寻找。From today's video article, 本日焦点文章，并且从中去了解一些单字的拼音技巧以及逻辑。Okay, students, let's go to the Wikipedia.org and search from today's video article, and we can probably learn some vocabulary, spelling, and pronunciation rules. And check out from today's video article. The Gulag Mandahal mission was an American fast-finding expedition sent by President Kennedy's administration to South Vietnam in 1963. It investigated the progress of the war by the South Vietnamese regime to their U.S. military advisers against the Viet Cong. Insurgency. The mission was led by Victor Clark Pictures, a major general in the Marine Corps, and Joseph Mandahol, a senior Foreign Service officer, experienced in Vietnamese affairs. The four-day whirlwind trip came in the wake of the increasingly strained relationship. Relations between the United States and the South Vietnam. In their submissions, Clark presented an optimistic report on the progress of the war, but Mandahol presented a bleak picture of a military failure and public discontent. Clark said that the Vietnamese soldiers. Efforts in the field will not be affected by the populist unease with President No Dinh Dan policies. Mandahol concluded that those policies increase the possibility of religious civil war and led the South Vietnamese to believe that their quality of life. Would improve under the Viet Cong. The contradictory reports promoted Kennedy to ask, "You two did visit the same country, didn't you?" Okay, now students, I'm going to show you how you can highlight the strong verb, or、uh, the, the the strong verb, the the many parts you, ah.、Uh, Emphasize how you can、uh, you are speaking. Okay, here I'm going to show you how. The Gulag Mandahol mission was an American fast finding expedition. Sorry, this one. Expedition sent by President. Kennedy's administration to South Vietnam in 1963. Investigates the progress of the war by the South Vietnamese regime and their. U.S. military military advisor against the vacuum insurgency. Okay, this is how you can line the strong light, highlight the strong verb, and try to practice、uh, how you can say it. Ah,、uh, the sentence. Okay, I'm going to try again. The Clark Mandahol mission was an American fast-finding 
expedition sent by the President Kennedy's administration. Administration to South Vietnam in 1963. It investigated the progress of the war by the South Vietnamese region and their U.S. military advisors against the Vietcom insurgency. Okay, so if we highlight a strong verb, uh, you can probably uh, say a lot, of, a lot of better and clear. And then now, I'm going to show you how you can find this great article. For things, for things uh, from the top right-hand side, you can see the search menu from Wikipedia. All you have to do is find the article title from today, and you input the article title uh, uh, to the find article title into the search menu, and you can find this great article. So this is about a, a general. Uh, his name uh, was a uh, Kulak, 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 Kulak Manahov Mission, Kulak Manahov Mission, Kulak Manahov Mission. Like the first things you can see his images, uh, the image. The photo from his uh, uh, with the uniform that's a U.S. Marine Corps General Victor Krok, and uh, you can check his background and uh, the things and uh, who he uh, was helping and uh, or against and uh, a lot of info. Okay. Okay. Now let's jump out to the vocabulary note from today. And we had two vocabulary words, and now we are going to discuss the vocabulary meaning, usage, pronunciation, and definition. We we'll use the spelling bees, pronunciation, and spelling, improvement, and skill. And check out the first vocabulary word that's foreign, 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 foreign. Adjective of from in or characteristic of a country or language the other land one's own. A foreign language. One example sentences. And a beautiful thing for me was that most spoke with foreign accents and in foreign languages. Origin. Middle English foreign. Foreign. From all French foreign, foreign, base, on Latin forest, forest, outside, from four door, the current spelling arose in the 16th century by association with sovereign. And the second vocabulary word is service, service, service. Now the action of helping or doing home, doing work for someone. Millions are involved in voluntary service. More than sentences. With more than six decades of voluntary service to her credit, she has not yet called it a day. Origin. All English denoting religious devotion, or a, a form of liturgy from old French service, or Latin, servitian, slavery, from service, slave, the early sense of the verb, mid-19th century was be the service to provide with a service. Okay, let's check out a uh, now it's the time we're going to redo the pronunciation and spelling part again. And this time, I would like you to read along with me so we can read it together. Okay, let's say, say, the, uh, say the definition and the pronunciation part with me. Okay, foreign, 
Vorin. 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 Adjective. Of, from, in, or characteristic of a country or a language other than one's own. A foreign language. More example sentences. And the beautiful thing for me was that Mo spoke with foreign accents and in foreign languages. Origin: Middle English foreign, foreign, from Old French foreign, foreign, based on Latin forest, forest, outside from forest, door. The current spelling arose in the 16th century by association with sovereign. And the second vocabulary word: service, 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 service. Now the action of helping or doing homework, doing work for someone. Millions are involved in voluntary service. More example sentences. With more than six decades of voluntary service to her credit, she has not yet called it a day. Origin: Old English denoting religious devotion of a form of liturgy from Old French service or Latin servitude. Slavery from server slave, the early sense of the verb, meet nineteenth century was be of service to provide with a service. Okay, student, now is the time we're going to redefine these two vocabulary words. Use phonics, ah,、uh, advanced pronunciation, and spelling rules. 好，同学们，让我们现在用字来音标哈，用现用用字来音标来解释一下哈，啊，这两个单字的拼音技巧以及逻辑。首先，我们先看这个第一个单字叫 foreign 哈 ，foreign， 我们可以看它是中世纪的英文 Middle English foreign 哈，所以原本的拼法 f o r e n 哈，啊 f o r e i n， 啊，所以我们可以看到这个地方哈，它这边有个 g 哈，所以我们先看拉丁文叫 forest 哈。啊，所以这些看看到、啊、都跟我们的这个啊、呃、现代的这个拼法是有点不太一样哈。那首先我们先看这个 foreign 该怎么分音节哈。首先我们看 foreign 哈 ，foreign 的话，如果我们从右向左看的话，啊 ，g 跟 n， 我们知道 g n 合体的时候哈 ，g n 合体的时候哈，啊 ，g 通常不发音啊，这是第一个第一个守则哈 ，g n 合体的时候 ，g 通常不发音哈，啊。那 g n 合起来 g 不发音，可是它却在我们的拼音的字里面有看到。但我们看到古代的这个拼法的话，它就没有 g 了哈。刚刚有注意到哈。啊，再来就是说，这边已经有 e 跟 i 了，又 o 跟 r。如果我们光看 o r e i， 啊，它的组合排列是 vowel semi r vowel vowel 啊 ，vowel semi r vowel vowel。但我们知道哈，在英文的拼音技巧逻辑的话哈。呃，母音哈，通常呃，通常不会有所谓四个合起来了哈。我们能最大的呃，我们知道，在英式英文中哈，它有一种发音法叫 tripsum 哈，就是三三合三合母音哈，或者我们讲三合元音哈，那是在我们讲母音构这个发音的逻辑中，我们能承受的这个人能讲的一次发的音啊，在英文逻辑来说。二音跟三音是最多了哈 ，dip sum 跟 trip sum， 那没有四音哈，所以这很明显，这边二这边二，啊，所以我们又中间用这个 r 来隔开哈 ，r 因为它是我们讲它是 semi vowel 哈，半母音半元音啊，所以当然这个时候你要么是 o r e 并在一起，要么是 r e i 并一起哈，但 r e i 并起来比较不像，而且前面有个 f o r 这个字哈，那当然 f o r four。那我们就已经知道它算是一个根了哈，所以说直接就把它拆开来一半了哈，在这个地方，啊，有 f o r 算一个蛮 base 的哈，蛮基础的单字了哈，这是 four 啊，这个地方就分开来，啊，所以那主重音 man stress 哈 ，man man stress 主重音在第一个音节 
。所以第一个音节我们把它圈起来，是我们的 strong 啊 syllable 哈、啊、，strong syllable 哈、啊，蛮容易就分出来了哈、啊。那 strong syllable 就是强音节，那我们的弱音节 weak syllable 哈、啊，弱音节啊，弱音节呢啊，弱音节是在第二音节。那很好玩的意思就是，它弱音节既然在第二音节 ，g 又不发声，啊 ，g n 合体 g 不发声哈。那 e 跟 i 在弱音节时有两个母音的时候，记得，那我们只会在一个的下方写上弱音符号哈，弱音符号，另外就打叉了，代表不发音了，所以它念这样，它念 n n， 所以 e i g n 这个组合去念 n n。所以我们在 e 的上面写弱音符号，所以你要知道 e i g n 却是念啊 n 啊啊，所以我们连续打两个叉哈。好，那在前面的强音节，我们就要看它的 vowel and consonant vowel and consonant pattern 了哈。母音与子音的排列，或我们讲说元音与辅音的排列哈，或者 vowel and consonant formation 啊组合哈。母音与子音的组合，或者元音与辅音的组合，哈。所以开头的第一个 f，f f 是一个什么？它是一个子音，我们称辅音，所以它就是我们的 onset。哦，在强音节开头的子音或辅音，我们一律称它叫 onset。所以 onset 就是首音，它的首音在 f。那首音后面如果能找得到母音或元音，我们称它叫做什么 ？nucleus。nucleus 就是 o r 合音在 o r， 那当然注意一件事情，这个字它没有 coda， 我们先讲它没有 coda 打叉，所以一般来说 nucleus 加 coda 等于 rhymes， rhymes rhymes 就在什么？韵音就在 o r， 韵音就在 o r， 所以我们讲它的韵音在 o r， 或我们讲它的连音在 o r。OK， 那先记得一个逻辑哈，母音就是。母音或元音就是 a e i o u， 我们称它叫做 vowels。啊，那 semi vowels， semi vowels 就是 r w y， 啊，这个叫做 semi vowel， semi vowel， 啊 ，r w y 叫 semi vowels， 啊，就我们称它叫做半母，我们称它叫半元。那母音或元音，我们就叫 vowel， 所以。a e i o u 的后方如果接 r w y， 那这个 semi vowel 通常我们就称它叫做半母半元。如果 r w y 写在 a e i o u 的前面啊 ，a e i o u 的前面，我们通常把它当 consonant 用，就当子音或辅音用。但你这不是不是完全的是这样用哦啊，不一定是完全的啊。那所以今天我们先看到 o 加 r 啊，是 o r r。啊，这个地方，所以我们看进阶解释 ，foreign f o r syllable， 啊 ，e i g n， m a n stress 主重音在第一个音节。好，所以第一个音节是强音节，既然是强音节，我们记得刚刚就要看它的 vowel and consonant pattern， 它是什么 ？consonant、vowel and semi r， 啊，所以它的排列是在强音节叫 consonant、vowel。semi r， 我们就直接把 r 写出来。那 nucleus 加 coda 这一段呢、啊，合音加尾音的这一段呢、啊，也就是韵音这一段，它是一个 v r 组合 ，vowel and semi r。所以 v r 组合时，记得哈，如果是 v r 组合哈，就是母音加 r 哈，母音加 r， 或者我们叫元音加 r， 这种组合的哈，我们就会套用一个公式叫 r control。R control syllable， 好、哦、，R 所控制的音节 ，R 所控制的音节，啊、哦，那 R 所控制音节之后呢，母音加 R， 它有两种公式，一个是 R control syllable 的什么的 diphthongs， 那就是 A E I O U 加上 R。通常就念 r、air、e、o、u。那如果 r control long 啊
R control， 我们讲，例如我们这个啊 R control 啊，我们就叫它 R color 好了哈。R color 的话 ，R color 的话又不一样哈，它就通常就念二二二二二。就是用这个二啊，新版的这个不管是啊旧版的字典啊，通常不会这样标哈。那新版一点字的呀，老师啊，最近又去买了一些字典了，像 Longman 啊、Oxford 都已经更新到这个了哈啊，所以我们就不探讨旧的排列法了哈。好，所以这时候我们就这样 ，for for 这边写个 d 哈，我们把这两个音组在一起，它是一个二合哈。他说，所以它这个。R control d i p s o n s 哈 ，R control d i p s o n s 啊，啊是 O R O， 那 E 啊，第二个音节落一点 E 念 E， 啊 I G silent 啊 I G 不发音，所以念 N foreign foreign foreign。OK， 最后一次解释 F O R syllable I G sorry E I G N。Then stress first syllable, first syllable strong syllable, vowel and consonant pattern, consonant vowel and semi r, nucleus and kilda, vowel and semi r, rhymes o r, rhymes, r control, syllable, o r as diphthong, or, four, four. Second syllable, weak syllable, without, without, e as a, a, i g silent, foreign, foreign, foreign. Okay, 我们看第二个单词 serviced, service. 好了，我们看 service 这个字啊，古英文啊 ，all English 哈，那来自法文的 all 法呃 French service. 啊 ，service 啊，我们是 C E， 它是 S E， 哦，看起来还蛮接近的哈。好，跟刚一样 ，service 要怎么分音节呢 ？S E R V I C E， 有没有看到这边？这边这个母音，一个、两个 ，C E 又合起来变这个，所以这边已经有一个母子音的这个感觉了哈。已经隔两个了，但它是两个音节，所以我们怎么办？这边已经吃掉两个，我们就把它分开来了哈。啊，所以有的人认为啊 ，service 应该是这样啊 ，service 啊，有的人认为它是 service 啊，当然你要如果去查字根字文，你就发现呢、啊、，serve 这个字可能有特别的意思，哈、啊、，serve 这个字可能有特别意思，所以 is 反而是轻音节哈，啊，所以你可以啊看看啊它的特殊意思，像我们如果看这个这个 serve 哈、啊，它 us 没写的时候就在这里就叫 slave 了哈，啊，所以。啊，这个意思哈。那 service the main stress， <coughs> service the main stress， 主重音在第一个音节，我们把它圈起来。所以第一个音节是我们的 strong syllable， strong syllable， 强音节哈，强音节。那么第二个音节是弱音节啊，所以是我们的 weak syllable， weak syllable， 啊，弱音节哈，弱音节。所以弱音节又。又是一个 I C E 结尾，两个母两个母音哈、啊，我们讲母音跟元音啊，分得非常开。可是在弱音节时，啊，它已经有有这个所谓的两个音节了哈。现在有两个音节，所以我们在第一个这个地方写上弱音，第二个不写，好，跟刚刚一样哈。啊，因为在弱音节时有两个呃，找到两个母音或元音时，一定是一个写，另外一个不写哈。所以在这边写弱音，所以念 a 或者 e。都可以哈，那 C E 记得 C E C I C Y E I Y， 如果不发音的时候 ，C 可以念 s 或者是 sh。那这时候我们念 s service， 有人念 service， 有人念 service， 啊，看你口音哈，有的人啊，我是觉得两个都可以哈。好，那强音节这地方，我们看开头第一个 s s s 就是一个什么？开头的辅音啊，子音辅音在开头啊，强音节开头，我们称它叫 onset， 所以 onset 是 s， 所以的 s。尾随的 e 跟 r 是我们的什么 nucleus 啊 ，nucleus， 所以 nucleus 在什么 e r 啊，所以合音在 e r。尾随的 v 是一个什么 coda 啊 ，coda 在 v 
啊，所以尾音在 v， 所以记得一件事情啊 ，nucleus and cola 等于 rhymes， rhymes 在哪里 ？e r v 啊，所以我们的韵音在 e r v， 我们讲的我们的连音连起来发音在 e r v。好了，一个进阶解释啊 ，s e r syllable v i。S E R V syllable I C E 啊 ，main stress first syllable 啊，主重音在第一个音节，第一个音节强音节 strong syllable， 所以我们看它排列是 consonant vowel semi r consonant consonant vowel semi r consonant nucleus and coda vowel Semi R and consonant, vowel, semi R and consonant. 好，所以在这个地方，它的韵音的地方就是母，半母 R， 子，或者我们称圆，半圆 R， 辅。那注意哈，这个字刚才我们讲的哈，它是 E R 这个地方啊，跟刚才一样套用 R control syllable 哈，所以它用 R control syllable 的时候，啊 ，R control syllable 的时候，它用的是 R。Control R color 啊，它要用一个 R color， 所以我们在这个地方一样写是啊、呃、R control deep sound， 但是我们呃我们这边一样哈，用个 D 啊 R control 的这个哈，我们用 R color 啊 R color 这个把它写成一个啊强、呃、音哈，所以是是 sir serve 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 啊，那如果是用某些字典哈，旧典字它的 serve。Surf, surf. The I 就念 e, 啊 C E adds silent e, 所以 service， 或者你可以念 service， 啊一样哈 service, service， 啊都一样哈。最后一遍 ，S E R V syllable I C E, main stress first syllable, first syllable strong syllable, vowel and consonant pattern, consonant vowel semi r, consonant. Nucleus and coda, vowel, semi r, consonant, rhyme, r control, r control, syllable, r color, long, er, sir, serve, serve, second syllable, weak syllable, we vowel, we vowel, i as a, c as s, service. Service, service. 好，以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day 每日单词。同学们还是一样，好，我们再去最后这两个单词一次练习。Foreign, foreign, foreign. Service, service. Service. 以上就今天的 vocabulary of the day 每日单词。同学们，如果你喜欢戴维老师用这个自然发音啊，呃，这个 phonetic 的规则带你进入 phonetic 音标的世界，并用 phonetic phonetic 自然音标，用线性符号来去标示表达啊，这个母音可以发音的形式啊，用箭头来指向母音可以发的。短母音、长母音、轻母音、双母音或者破音字，啊，或者我们讲说长短元音、长元音、双元音，啊，或者我们讲的破音字，啊啊，轻元音哈、啊，或者用这个线性符号来表达这个子音啊，或者辅音可以发出特殊形式，如二合子音、二辅音之类，啊，能帮助到你的拼音技巧以及逻辑的话，啊啊，也欢迎大家如果有 Google Plus 啊，你有积加的话，啊 ，Google Plus 可以直接找老师。I D 做朋友 ，David T D I N G A D A。And friends, if you like my pronunciation training video, would like to become my friend. If you have the Google Plus account, uh, you can go ahead to search my ID, David T D I N G A D A, and you can join me within the Google Plus fan circle. And I do have the Weibo fan page in China. So, if you're looking for my uh project and you would wish would like to learn more from my channel, uh, you can go ahead to uh, search my ID. Search my fan page in China, David T D I N G A D A. Ah, 
uh, or else you can write email to me. That's a dividing at hotmail.com and my WeChat dividing88. Uh, if you're looking for a new class, and I'm preparing to uh, make a new video. So, well, uh, if you stay tuned with my channel, uh, it, uh, either my YouTube or my YouTube channel, that would be great. 啊、uh, ，还是一样，感谢大家对 David 老师的课程的啊， uh, 现在免费课程的支持哈。啊、uh, ，还是一样，老师继续在努力啊。Uh, 那喜欢老师的教学的朋友，也可以直接加我的频道啊，做、uh, 你的喜爱频道。啊，这样你可以继续收看我们的一些免费的学习资源。好，以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day， 每日单字，谢谢各位观赏。